with the product. The only thing I ask is that you actually use the product. Would you, would you use it for me and give me a story? Let me know how it worked over the next 30 days. And if, if it didn't work out great, I'm not going to expect you to buy again. If it worked okay and you liked it, maybe you could replace something else that you had in your life. That's fine. Some p- companies, if they didn't like it, they can get their money back from that company policy. That's fine too. If they loved it, then maybe they'll think of somebody else that might like it and they'll, they'll decide to c- continue to be a customer. But I'm not going to expect that of you. I just want you to use it. That would mean the world to me. And if I could use a story, the testimonial of how you used it, it would be fantastic as I start my business. Really appreciate it. And, and then make it easy on them on how they can become a customer. You know, don't make them go through 15 screens of signing up on stuff. Make it easy. Make it simple. You know, figure out a way for them to get the product. And then in a light way, encourage them to actually use it. Let's talk about high ticket. If you have a high ticket product, let me tell you how I would do it. So with high ticket, here's what I would do. I would go to those people and say, listen, compliment them on their support or, or you know, the fact that they support you, that they're your friend, they're all this other kind of stuff. Then let them know about your business. I got involved in this thing. I'm, you know, I'm super passionate about it. Don't worry. I'm not trying to recruit you. This is my business, not yours. Two things. One is we sell, I sell a product that does this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And it's not cheap, but the benefits are enormous. Okay. I would do one of two things. One is, can I come over and practice my presentation on you? I just need a friendly face. I'm nervous. I'm just getting started. Can I practice my presentation? Can I go through my little thing? Can I, you know, check your water and look at this water if it's a water filter, you know, a water treatment system. Can I check your water and do this? Can I do my, can I do my little spiel? Is that all right? Because I'm nervous and I just ha- want to have some friend, a friendly face to be able to t- kind of develop my skills. And I'm going to be going through a little script and I'm going to be shaking and a little nervous and, you know, just help me. Will you help me? Can I practice on you? I really appreciate it. And in the practice, are they going to be impressed with your high ticket product? They're likely to be impressed. If you could do it face to face, most of the hot market is face to face. If not, can I do a Zoom and do a little a presentation via Zoom to you? Can I practice via Zoom? If, if somebody in my family or friends said, Eric, you're an expert marketing guy and you're also my, my cousin or whatever, can I practice on you? I'm going to smile and I'm going to say, all right, fine. If they come and try and recruit me, it's just like, you're kidding me, right? If they ask if, if they can practice on me, I'm like, okay, fine. Bring me your pitch and I'm going to coach them on the pitch. And I'm likely, if I love what I see, I'm likely, if I'm a candidate for it, to at least think about becoming a customer. I have what many of you sell in my water filtration product or the water treatment product in my house. It's in this bottle right now. I have it in a stainless steel bottle because I know plastic's not supposed to be good. Guess why I know that? I know that because I heard it in the pitch. I didn't know stainless steel was better than in glass and stainless steel is better than plastic. I heard all that stuff. So I'm a customer. Why? Initially, because somebody practiced and secondarily, because I Interested in my health. Okay, cool. Sign me up. Hook me up. Show me how to alkali in my life. So same thing's true with any other high ticket product. If you do a a practice type of approach, you're likely to get those people to practice to to agree to letting you practice because you've already told them they're not a recruit candidate. Okay, fine. Whew. Just don't come at me with that cheap network marketing stuff because just you know I tried it. Got it. So secondarily, you can say to someone, a family member, I know this is not a small ask, but if you would be my customer, it would help my business. And I firmly believe it will help your life. Would you consider it? Can I practice on you and just let you hear about it and just consider it? That's all I ask is that you consider it. And it's not just for me. I firmly believe it'll help you too. You know, and some people are going to be priced out and that's fine, but a lot of people won't. See, if you come at them with the, you know, join my business approach, all their defenses are up and they can't even hear about how good the product is because they're being defensive because of this, their preconceived ideas of you or network marketing. You understand? So I want you to think back now. We can't go back in time, but I want you to think back to the first day you joined network marketing. If you did this approach with every one of your hot market, how many of them do you think would become a customer at least one time? And even if they didn't, if you ask them, the only let, let's say they say, you know what, it's just not my thing. Whatever, I'm 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 not comfortable being a customer. They have too much psychic damage from this. All right, fine, no problem. I'm not saying you have to be a customer. It would mean a lot to me, 
but not being a customer, you can still help me. Will you support me? Will you encourage me when I get discouraged? Will you push me to step into my entrepreneurial future? I believe I can be a business person, but I need my friends. I need my family to be wind underneath my wings instead of wind in my face. Would you be that for me?